Hello there passengers, I'm Deuce Dizden and I'm coming at you with an episode review of the final episode of Book 3 of Infinity Train. Episode 10 titled, The New Apex. And holy crap, everything that went on in this season just, it, it, it was hard to watch a lot of this from... What Simon did to Tuba and his dark descent, to the growing relationship between Grace and Hazel, to the betrayal that Simon felt that he ultimately lashed out on Grace, the person he trusted the most. Just, it's just so painful to watch. Oh man, what... And Simon with his trust issues because of what the cat did, which ultimately the cat tried to let him know, hey, like, dude, I, it was a mistake. I was scared. But, you know, Simon, Simon was young. He needed someone to take care of him. And that, that wasn't the cat, you know, they palled around for a while, but. You know, the cat ultimately couldn't be responsible for Simon in the end. That wasn't her role. That wasn't what she could do. It's, it's, it's just sad. And so Simon has left Grace trapped with an elaborate of her memories. Being berated by the memory of Hazel who... Left with Amelia, you know, we found out that Hazel was an attempt by Amelia to recreate Ulrich. That's why she turns into a turtle, because it's always turtles for some reason. Because of the one handkerchief that Amelia had. And, you know, she, she this memory of Hazel, it's, honestly, it sounds like Grace's inner conscience talking to her, berating her, saying that she ultimately was trying to control Hazel, just like the Apex, to just take command because she didn't want to be left alone. You know, even saying that, yes, Simon is a monster for all intents and purposes, but he didn't get that way on his own. He didn't come to the conclusion to wheel denizens on his own. That was a two-party system. It took Grace's intervention in his life to bring him to this point. And she needs to take responsibility for that. To own up to what she did and the mistakes that she made. And then we see her a version of herself talking to herself. Telling her, we were wrong. You know, we... We went down this path in an attempt to keep people around us to make it so that they would stay with us because grace's backstory is just that of a sad lonely girl who just wanted some attention to just be looked at and noticed and acknowledged and she got that with the apex it was a vanity project but you know she she didn't feel like she was hurting anyone but she was hurting everyone her actions have done so much harm to so many people, if not through her, but through the Apex, through Simon, through all of that. She has become her own worst nightmare. And so, Grace has to accept this. She has to move forward from this, accept that she may never see Hazel again, that may never make amends for all that she did, because when she had the opportunity to own up to Simon about Grace, to accept Grace for who she was, she didn't take it, she didn't do it, and she regrets that, and she probably will always regret that, and so... Grace's tape comes to its conclusion. She makes her way out, freaked out by the tape poking out of her head. And man, this moment where she pulls the rest of that sucker out is absolutely unsettling. Like, oof. Ugh, this, this whole entire season just continues to just make me feel almost sick to my stomach in some kind of way. Very uncomfortable. But Grace, having a newfound sense of 
empathy, you know, sees the destruction that Simon left in his wake as he was exiting, and she makes an attempt to restore some of the origami burrs that Simon so violently stomped on as he was throwing his little tantrum. And she manages to make her way back to the mall car, the base of the apex. But she doesn't see anyone at first. But then all the kids surround her, identifying her as an enemy. As Simon has taken over the apex, creating what he calls the new apex. Title drop. And identifying Grace as a zero number or something like that. Namely, a leader who has betrayed their ideals and must be cast out. And while a lot of the kids haven't really been clued into what being cast out is, we soon come to find out that it involves wheeling Grace, throwing her under the wheels of the Infinity Train, which a lot of the kids ain't really on board with, because this is just like, oh, that's a, that, that sounds a little like murder, Simon. You know, it was one thing, because you convinced us that the denizens weren't real people, and we could kind of get on board with that, because they were so cartoony, but this be person, she go splat. What do? And it, it, they're kids. Grace could easily break at, free of all of this. But again, she's found this new sense of empathy. She no longer believes the apex rhetoric, you know, the cult mentality. And it's just like, no, oh, I was wrong. And she tells this to the rest of the kids like, dude, we found the conductor. She wasn't who we thought she was. She doesn't believe in us. She doesn't protect us. She wasn't the true conductor. She was a f just some lady named Amelia who was going through baggage, just like the rest of us. I was doing things wrong. We were doing things wrong. And she breaks free and Simon confronts her and Grace apologizes for not being there for Simon when he really needed it. But, you know, she's just like, dude, we were wrong. I was wrong. You know, please try to understand. But then they get into an altercation and uh, Simon's just been so caught up in his emotions, in his feelings feelings in wanting to be right and justified in the way that he's been acting and he starts to overwhelm grace feeling that ultimately grace owed him for everything that they've been through together for lying but while grace is sorry for bringing him into all of this for steering him in the wrong direction you know she she doesn't owe it to him to fix all of her his mistakes Know that she's not responsible for everything that's been wrong in his life. That he should be taking charge of his life and not blaming everyone else. However, this battle is interrupted when a gome appears and goes on the attack. With them trying to duck underneath the bridge in order to escape. Only for Simon, the shitty guy that he is, to try to wheel Grace there and then. Or at least get the gome to go after him. But Grace is able to take one of Simon's boots and shove it in the gome's mouth. And when Simon's other boot starts to fail, it seems like he's about to fall to his death. Only to be rescued by Grace. And when he questions why, after everything he's done, why would she do that? She simply doesn't know. But I do. She gained empathy. She cares about Simon. After everything that they had been through? Of course. Why wouldn't she care for him? Why wouldn't she save him? Even had she not found this newfound sense of empathy, they were friends. Now, he mean, meant a lot to her. And in this moment, something I could have n never fathomed happens. Simon pushes Grace off the train under the wheels of the car. The kids are shocked. I'm shocked. You were probably shocked. It, like, dude, y she saved you. After all of that? Really? Really? 
And Simon, he's, he's just lost. He's lost it all. He's so caught up in his emotions of anger and sorrow and just, just he, he, he's just completely lost it. But, thanks to the empathy that Grace showed previously, the origami birds had come and saved her. You know, very convenient, but at the same time it shows to show that a little bit of empathy, even after years of doing bad things, can sometimes help things turn out for the best. And as the kids are overjoyed to see that Grace was actually able to be saved, because, again, none of them were really on board with wheeling her. I have to reiterate that. They, they're kids. Murder doesn't come naturally to children. And, you know, Simon is... You know, just mixed up in his feelings in this moment to see Grace alive and okay. He doesn't notice the gome who recovers and starts to attack him, sucking away his life force. And in this moment I thought, well, he's just going to be saved again by Grace or something. No. No. After multiple seasons of seeing the gome and seeing them slowly suck the life force out of people, only to be stopped part way through, we finally see it. The gome kills Simon, and he crumbles away to nothing. Just... Simon, you poor bastard. It was the one thing he feared the most. The trauma that has driven him for so long. And to have it end this way is a cruel poetry, honestly. Ah, jeez. Freaking hard. And as the gome ends up exploding for who knows why, maybe because his number was so high, maybe that's just naturally what happens to the gome, but uh, Grace is left devastated, devastated at the loss of someone who she cared for, despite everything, she cared for Simon. No. She can never make it right. Seems that that's all that is happening to her. People have loved her life for one reason or another. And she can never make it right. And so, she addresses the children of the Apex one more time. This time, coming down the elevator, escalator alone. In a parallel to the first episode of this season, where Grace and Simon came down together as friends, she comes down alone, addressing the Apex, telling them that she was wrong, she didn't understand, she never meant for things to be like this, to end this way between her and Simon. But it did. Just goes to show that she wasn't prepared to lead these kids. That all she's done is steer them in a bad direction. And ultimately she can't help them through their problems. But she can try. They can all try. But not as the apex. As something new. Something better. And as the kids discuss this we see their numbers start to go down. Finding a newfound sense of sympathy, empathy, just giving in to their better instincts. As, while the future doesn't look certain, you know, Grace is willing to just meet that future head on. Ah, oh, man, what a, what an absolutely just roller coaster of a season i'm glad hbo max picked this up you know i watched it there i just get my images a different way because it's easier to get them that way but you know i'm glad hbo max picked this up and was able to give us this season and just because the darker tone man 
just I, I really hope the crew gets to make more seasons of Infinity Train because this was a f fantastic and phenomenal season but that's only because all the other seasons were great as well they built on each other you know though we don't always focus on the same characters you know the characters that we do meet do get to see are always so fascinating and interesting you know i know that owen Detta said he wanted to get to eight seasons because that makes an infinity symbol and part of me kind of feels and hopes that they do get to that eighth season and that the final person we you know deal with is amelia who fully manages to get her number down after a while and is able to finally return to the real world you know there's so many things that could happen but the fact that this book didn't end with anyone returning home but with the possibility that grace might at some point who knows, maybe we'll see it next season. Maybe we'll never see it. Maybe it'll happen off screen. I like to think that at some point she's able to get off and go about having some form of a life. Who knows? But it's unfortunate she had to learn her lessons the way that she did. But I'm glad she learned them. Now, she's an example of someone who, despite all the wrong she's done, she was still able to make a positive out of so much negative. But Simon fought against that. He was unwilling to change, to grow. That's why everyone kept calling him a child. That's why he always got so mad when he was called a child. By Tuba, by Amelia, just... At every turn, he would always get so upset. He always felt he was right. But in the end, he couldn't have been more wrong. <sighs> you know, I was wondering if maybe it would be the number going so high that would ultimately kill him. But the train doesn't seem to outright try to do that. Yes, there's a lot of dangerous aspects to the train, but it always seems like the train is just there as a vehicle for you to help deal with your issues, to find the better path. <sighs> if only that could have happened for Simon. Yes, he did terrible things, but maybe it could have been different had from the start he had gotten the help he needed. And I think that will haunt Grace for the rest of her days. Tell me your thoughts on this book in the comment section below. What did you think about the end to Simon? What do you think of is going to happen to Grace? What do you think is going to happen to Hazel and Amelia? Who knows? But, hopefully there's a next time. I hope you enjoyed my reviews. If you did, leave me a like or a dislike depending on how you felt. Subscribe and hit the bell icon. Well, hopefully, someday, I'll be able to review more Infinity Train. And until next time, I've been Deuce Dizden, and I will see you somewhere on the Infinity Train. Bye bye <laughs>